you know, Daniel, I always love to say, you never believe the retired world in combat sports. And it only took one goddamn month for Felice Herrick to unretire because she has signed with the bare knuckle fighting championship. And I tweeted this um, after the fact uh, yesterday, I said, death taxes and former UFC fighter signing with bare knuckle fighting championship. And Herrick made the announcement to on to MMA fighting. These were her quotes. I've watched closely what Dave Feldman and his team at BKFC have built and truly want to test myself in bare knuckle. At this point in my career, I'm ready for a new challenge, and there's nothing bigger and better than BKFC. MMA is definitely done. Here's the thing, too. I want to make it very clear because I feel like people look if, if look if you are done with MMA, you're a has been. If you go to bare knuckle, you're a has been. I don't believe that because there's the thing. Now, opportunities go beyond the UFC. UFC used to be the top of the top, the cream of the crop. And by no means am I talking excellent about the UFC because I love the UFC. And I love being a part of the UFC and I love the journey, that journey of my life. But before the UFC was the end all be all. If you left the UFC, it was only downhill from there. I don't believe that anymore. Now, look. Obviously, BKFC is paying out a ton of money. I think the interesting part would be is did did Herrick's people reach out to BKFC or did BKFC reach out to her? But also, it makes me think about when you hear fighters talk about it's time to move on to the next chapter of my life. How many of them get to that next chapter and they feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities and they're just not there? Okay. Do you think we will see Donald Cerrone or Jessica I announce that they have signed with BKFC in the next month. I think it's more likely Jessica I. Yeah. There, it, yeah. there seems to be that BKFC is really targeting former UFC female fighters I, yeah, I feel as, like- as a way to entice people to buy their pay per views. I feel like. Uh- as soon as a fighter says the words retire to answer your question of who reached out to who, I think BKFC is just immediately sending a message to the agent of that fighter. Yeah, uh, Dude, uh, it was a few weeks ago, and I don't know if you brought it up originally or if somebody mentioned it in a question, but it's just an astute point that the biggest competitor to the UFC in terms of acquiring talent or, or, or whatever is non-MMA promotions. I mean, you can make one hell of an MMA roster – if you picked like the bare knuckle fighting people and, and, and made a roster out of them. So it's just a, it's a very interesting thing. I don't really, again, understand the financial viability of this business model. Uh, but Hey, it obviously works because you know, if the checks don't clear, then no one to be fighting. So yeah, hopefully uh Felice can make some good money and stay safe. And again, it, it makes sense for her to do such a thing because she spent her whole life training in martial arts. This is one of her major skills it makes sense for her to continue to employ it. You just got to hope she stays safe. And I believe she suffered a lot of leg injuries, right? She had a lot of surgeries in that part yes. of the body. So, you know, at least she wanted to deal with leg kicks and defending wrestling. But, you know, footwork is still such a, a pivotal part of boxing. So we shall see. But I hope for the best for Felice Herrig and for every, you know, most other fighters, right? You either going to see them doing bare knuckle or opening up their own gym. And that's good, too. 